My name is Anna Potapenko. I'm going to present my ongoing research on linguistic regularization of topic models. Uh, so, well, we are given a large collection of texts and we would like to understand what topics are covered there. A topic modeling is a tool to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it performs soft B-clustering of words and documents into topics. Uh, this results in two kinds of distributions, phi for words and topics and theta for topics and documents. Uh, let's see how the results of topic modeling look like. Um, this is a topic model PLSA, a basic topic model for a collection of political statements. And this is just one document with its three most probable topics according to uh, the model. The first topic contains uh, with the highest probabilities these terms about terrorism and attacks. The second one is about democracy and human rights and the last one is about assistance. So not ideal, but more or less interpretable. But things get much worse when we look into the content of the document. Uh, when the topic model is learned, it evaluates um, distribution of topics for each word in each document. So here we just color the most mm, probable topic for each word. And these blue terms all are assigned to the topic about terrorism, but you can see that most of them do not relate to it at all, like Canada, um, help, uh, vacation, and so on. And um, what is the reason? Uh, basically, the main reason is that PLSA is a back of words model, so it assumes that the topics of the, of the word doesn't depend on the position of these words in a document. It means that one and the same ratio of words will be assigned to this terrorism topic during the whole document, even if in some passages it is not discussed at all. Um, this um, topic segmentation is useless and we try to improve it by um, overcoming bag of words assumption and by adjusting these um, distributions over topics by local contexts of words. So here we can see that we catch the moment when uh, uh, this topic about this 11th of September starts being discussed here. Uh, the topic about uh, assistance is revealed better and all background words are assigned to the gray topic, not to be mixed with the keywords of other topics. Um, in the time left, I'd like to uh, have a quick glimpse into the mathematics. So in gr black here, you can see PLSA topic model. It sets likelihood maximization problem to feed phi and theta to the observed data. And the learning is iterative process, the E step calculates probabilities over topics for each word. That's what we have colored right now. And M step reestimates phi and theta. So these red modifications correspond to the additive regularization approach. Um, I'm not going to go deep into the details. Uh, Konstantin Voronsov will have some details about this approach in his talk. But I'll just say that it is uh, a framework to combine uh, many topic, many extensions of topic models into one topic by adding additional criteria here and modifying the M step. And the uh, contribution of this work is to um, overcome bag of words limitations in this framework. So here the regularizers depend on the position of um, I, on the position of words in a document. And uh, just an example, this is a document and this is the uh, distribution of the topics that we are trying to improve. If we try to make it close to the aggregated uh, topic distribution of a context, then this formula results into a very simple uh, post-processing of this matrix um, that can be done on the E-step right after it is computed according to PLSA. So the algorithm is memory efficient and it can be combined with everything that Konstantin Varsov will talk about. Thank you for your attention and welcome to my poster.